Hey there! Today, we're diving into an epic showdown between the M2 Bradley and the T90 tank. Buckle up because this is going to be a thrilling ride. For all you war history enthusiasts, we're about to explore the riveting world of armored warfare. If you're captivated by history, machinery, and the strategy that drives warfare, then you've tuned into the right channel. Today's star is none other than the mighty M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle, a behemoth that has made its indelible mark in the U.S. Army's history. This beast of a machine is more than just armored steel. It's a symbol of power and resilience. With an impressive track record in numerous operations, the M2 Bradley has proven its mettle time and again. It isn't just a vehicle, it's a badge of honor and a testament to the tactical brilliance of the U.S. Army. Today, we will take you through its journey, from its inception to its evolution, and finally to its face-off with the formidable T-90 tank. Before we plunge into the details of the M2 Bradley's transformation, we have a small but significant request for you. We are driven by our passion for delivering the most captivating military content and are grateful for your support in achieving this. If you appreciate our work and wish to enhance this experience, please hit the subscribe button and ensure to tap on the bell icon for notifications of our new posts. Your support fuels us to create more gripping content for you. Now let's get back to our main topic. We will explore the workings of the M2 Bradley, its standout features and the strategies employed during its deployment. We'll dissect its successful engagements and its triumphant encounters with the T-90 tank. Get ready to be engrossed by the intricate details of these potent machines, their capabilities, and the clever tactics deployed during their battles. And now, let's jump right into the evolution of the M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle. Hold on tight because this is going to be an exhilarating journey. Our narrative commences during the disco era, the 1970s, a time when the United States, amidst the Cold War pressures, spearheaded the development of the M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle, a beast known for its potent array of weapons, superior grade optics, and unmatched cross-country capabilities. This machine, gargantuan as it was, formed the vanguard of U.S. ground forces, marking a milestone in the annals of military technology. The M2 Bradley stood as a symbol of American expertise, representing the cutting-edge technology and innovative design principles of its time. The heart of this monster was its weaponry. Equipped with a 25mm chain gun, anti-tank missiles, and a coaxial machine gun, it was a force to be reckoned with. Its destructive power sent shivers down the enemy's spines, a testament to its sheer brute force. Surpassing just offensive capabilities, the Bradley was also known for its superior optics. These were not just ordinary viewing devices. They were thermal imaging systems that could spot enemies in the dead of night, fog, or smoke, providing unmatched situational awareness. It gave the soldiers a pair of eagle's eyes, enabling them to see the battlefield in a way that was what truly set the Bradley apart was its matchless cross-country capabilities. Whether it was traversing rugged mountains, scorching deserts, or icy tundras, the Bradley was not deterred. It was the marathon runner of military vehicles, capable of enduring the toughest terrains and harshest conditions, all while carrying a full squad of infantry soldiers. Over the decades, the Bradley has continued to evolve, taking in stride advancements in electronics, weaponry, and more. With each version, the Bradley emerged stronger, faster, more formidable, constantly adapting to the changing times. It has gracefully weathered the storm of technological progression, absorbing every innovation and enhancement thrown its way. As the years rolled on, the Bradley steadfastly maintained and solidified its place as one of the finest infantry fighting vehicles in the world. Today, it continues to represent the epitome of American military might and ingenuity, a testament to the relentless pursuit of excellence in the realm of warfare. Our story continues in the early 2000s, when the United States, exhibiting a newfound interest in international military alliances, made the decision to extend a supportive hand to Ukraine. This act of cooperation was sealed with a notable military asset, the M2 Bradley, an armored infantry fighting vehicle which had built its reputation on battlefields overseas. This new phase in the Bradley's journey opened up a whole new environment for the vehicle to prove its mettle. In Ukraine, the geography was a stark contrast from where the Bradley had previously been deployed. The Vast were an arena where the Bradley was to face fresh and unexpected hurdles. However, the challenges were something that the Bradley was ready to take head on. It was tasked with a variety of roles it was not primary designed for, pushing its operational capabilities to the limit. 
One of the key tasks assigned was to provide infantry support, a role that required tactical maneuverability and protection against enemy fire. The Bradley also found itself conducting reconnaissance missions, a crucial element in any military operation. It had to stealthily navigate challenging terrains while collecting vital information about enemy movements. These missions tested the Bradley's ability to be discreet and efficient in hostile environments. Moreover, the Bradley was tasked with engaging enemy armor, a role that demanded the combined abilities of firepower, precision, and resilience. This was a role that they hadn't been primarily designed for, but it was a challenge that the Bradley took up with gusto. It was in these moments, amidst the trials and tribulations, that the Bradley adapted seamlessly, proving itself to be fighting machine. This adaptability demonstrated the Bradley's readiness to face any adversary, regardless of how formidable they might be. This phase in the Bradley's journey was significant as it set the stage for the epic confrontation that was to follow. It was a testament to the Bradley's tenacity and an indication of the high-stake battles it was about to encounter. And remember, if you're enjoying our journey through the history and development of the M2 Bradley, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating insights. Now, fast forward to the present day, when about 190 of these M2A2 ODSSA Bradleys call Ukraine their home. Among them, one particular Bradley from the 47th Mechanized Brigade would soon become the star of a viral video. In this video, the Bradley's 25mm M242 Bushmaster chain gun was pitted against the heavily armored Russian T-90 tank. The outcome? A decisive victory for the Bradley, a feat that left many in awe considering the formidable reputation of the T-90. But here comes the twist. The Bradley's crew didn't just attribute their success to the power of their vehicle. Instead, they credited their victory to an unlikely ally, video games. Yes, you heard that right. Their hours spent maneuvering virtual tanks and calculating trajectories in video games had honed their skills, enabling them to accurately target and disable the T-90's vital systems. Of course, there was some backlash from Russian military bloggers who claimed that poor training and combat skills were to blame for the T-90's downfall. Yet, the success of the Bradley stands demonstrating its robust protection against various threats and its ability to be equipped with special dynamic protection, the Bradley Reactive Armor. Now, let's take a moment to recognize the real heroes of this story, the crew of the Bradley. These men, equipped not only with a powerful machine but also with their own intelligence and skill, were the true champions of this battle. Their countless hours spent in the digital battlefield of video games had served as an unconventional training ground, preparing them for the real-world conflict they faced. In the heart of the battle, they navigated the Bradley with precision, smoothly maneuvering it across the terrain. They calculated trajectories with the accuracy of a seasoned gamer, using their knowledge of enemy vulnerabilities to target and disable the T-90. Their success showcases the immense value of adaptability and strategic thinking in modern warfare, proving that the power of a weapon lies not only in its technological advancements, but also in the hands of those who wield it. And while the world marveled at the Bradley's victory, let's not forget the human element that made this possible. The courage, resourcefulness, and resilience of this crew, who turned their gaming hobby into a military advantage, truly deserves our admiration. They are the living proof that in the face of adversity, human ingenuity and determination can turn the tide of battle. So, what does this event tell us? It shows how the M2 Bradley, a product of continuous technological advancement, met the digital age, where video games can serve as an unexpected training ground. And it illustrates the importance of skill and strategy, even in the face of formidable opposition. But most importantly, it's a testament to the adaptability and ingenuity of those who operate these powerful machines. The saga of the Bradley and the T-90, a tale of technology, strategy, and a dash of modern culture, is one for the history books, wouldn't you?